Okay, so right. yeah. So I'll record right now. Okay. All right. Okay, so um, let me just close all these out here. Now, um, let's see. What do I want to go after here? Um. Oops. Google Earth. Yeah, it would be interesting if if you make some uh, a video on this on this topic because it's very interesting. Okay. All and right. a lot a lot of people don't know about this. All right. So we'll see how this works out here. Okay. All right. So I think what we do is we look for the location here all right just so mm -hmm. just so we're clear you see right here the square mm -hmm. yes he calls that Mount Sinai right there and so yes. he's calling this place right here let's see if it should show right there St. Catherine that's this is the place that he's pointing to as Mount Sinai and that's not Mount mm -hmm. Sinai. Aww. That's the Catholic version. It's nonsensical. Aww. And, okay, so, uh, you know, without getting, I, you know, I'm going to try to make this quick. So what happened was, if I could back out here. All right. So here is Egypt, okay? This is where... The pyramids are. Yes, and the, that green area is Egypt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, if I could remember, I don't remember exactly where the pyramids are. Why don't they don't? They just show me where it's at. Okay, I think it's right. I was thinking it was here. I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um, and then down here. Well, I can't remember. It's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, oh. I think I told you wrong. What's this gulf right here? Gulf of Aqaba. I told you it's east of the Gulf of Suez. That's true, but it's also yeah. east of the Gulf of Aqaba. All right. So, um, basically... When Moses led his people out of Egypt, they went through here and down here, and then they ended up right about here to Nuwebe. Okay. Oh, never mind. Uh -huh. Forgive me. Okay, so right here is where they crossed the Red Sea. Right here. Okay, and then they. Uh, uh, how do you? How do you know th that it was right there? Well, this is where uh, Ron Wyatt and his team went underwater and they found uh, a, the, the chariots and all that sort of stuff. Oh, okay. And um, there's almost a natural path that leads right to it. Okay? Mm -hmm. If you were to follow from there all the way to where they would have entered mm -hmm. there's almost a natural path so that's I think that's what led Ron Wyatt and his team to this location and then mm -hmm. this is where they would have saw the Pharaoh and his army coming after him and then God parted this the Red Sea and they crossed mm -hmm. and then once they crossed the waters swallowed up Pharaoh and his army. Okay, and so they get across, and then they travel to Mount Sinai, which is Jebel Allah's. And that's it right here. This is Mount Sinai, where God goes, He God is on the mountain, and Moses goes up to the mountain, and he gets the Ten Commandments from him. This is where it's at. Okay, no question. In my mind, this here 
is just some Catholic woman who wanted to say this is this is it this is Mount Sinai she had no idea and they just accepted it and so they call it right there Saint, Saint Catherine's you know whatever and uh -huh. the, okay so <laughs> there's no reason uh, at how all far, I'm sorry go uh, ahead how, how, how far is uh, the, the real Mount, Mount Sinai is um, how far is it from the, the, the point that he, sh he showed in, his, in that screen that is the, the, the Mount Sinai, the fake Mount Sinai? How far away is it? Yes, because I, 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 uh, the image is so small here in my cell phone, I, I, don't, I can't really see where is the Mount Sinai related to that point. That he showed. Oh, oh I, if I had to guess, I, 70 miles, about an hour away. But, I mean, if you were. You'd have can, to, can you show me there uh, where is Mount Sinai and where is the, the, the fake Mount Sinai okay. that he's showing? Yeah, if you can see this image here, Jebel Allah's. Uh huh. That's, Too small. Okay, that's the that's the real Mount Sinai. Okay. And oh, what was that? Okay. Anyways, uh, and then the fake, the Catholic fake Mount Sinai is, I guess, right. Is a on the other side of the river. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah, and that's an that's an impossibility. Um, wow. And so the claim is that this is where Moses, uh, you know, uh, crossed the Red Sea. This, uh -huh. this little bit of water. I mean, that's. Uh -huh. It's so absurd, and, uh, and nobody, <laughs> I mean, if you're a young person, you're going to think the parting of the Red Sea is not a big deal, uh -huh. but when you understand that this right here is where they crossed, you, it, it just makes so much more sense and this is a big deal yeah the, yeah it's really deep and a really big big river yeah and uh, it is and um, the other thing is here if this was Mount Sinai they'd, it, they'd almost be trapped They'd almost be trapped because, I mean, if, okay, so Pharaoh and his army, which had to have been huge, I th what was there, uh, a quarter million or half a million people that, yeah, that escaped yeah, Egypt? Do you remember? Oh, oh the, the, um... The Israelite people, how much they they were? The Hebrew people, yeah. Yeah, the, the Hebrew people, yes. More than a million people. More than a yes. million, thank you. Yeah, it was a lot. It's a lot. And so you got to figure, Pharaoh's army must have been pretty big too. Uh-huh. And, you know, just, um, this right here is just, it's ideal to chase them into this area where they're surrounded by water and uh -huh. no and no escape uh -huh. and then here God provides them an, an escape an escape yes okay and then when he does that then the waters recede or go back to what the way they were and and, uh, and kill the entire army uh huh. Okay. Yes. And then here's where they s escape into the mountains. And this is where uh, Kitty talks and tells us 
his thoughts. And uh, I can hear your cat, by the way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And <laughs> one, one of my cats. Yeah. yeah. He likes to talk. So. Yeah. Uh, now there's, oh, there's some other stuff here that's also related. I can't remember exactly what it was. It was the Rock of Oreb. Yes, uh, you, you, sh you shared uh, a long time ago a video about the Rock of Horeb, yeah. uh, which is the, the water, the, the, the rock for, uh, where the, the water comes from, no? Yeah, yeah. Moses the water came out, The water came out for, for people. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember... I used to know where that was at. I don't remember exactly, but it's in this area uh -huh. somewhere here. And of course, I don't know if you can see this, but it says uh, Mount Sinai right here, and it says Moses' altar right there, altar of the golden calf, uh, Ron Wyatt's Sinai photograph, and you know, there's just this is it right here. Uh huh. <laughs> um. Okay. So, um, it's very interesting, I think. Yes, it's very interesting, but uh, I, I'm shocked now that this man is teaching me wrong. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, it's just, to me, it's like they, these guys, they just follow a script. They don't pay attention. They don't challenge anything that anybody teaches. And this is very dangerous when you just take what you know whatever's the script is and, and take it as the gospel it's very dangerous and but that's what they do that yeah I, I know it's dangerous but uh, I have to say that I asked you a lot of a lot of times to help me in a, another in a Oh, some uh, in other topics uh, besides t uh, talking about uh, revelation or revelation twenty, I'm I'm a little bit um, uh, what can I say? I want to know uh, about uh, some other things about the Bible, study some other things about the Bible, and then uh, I'm, I go alone searching for, uh, in some, for some different topics, and of course I found, I find a lot uh, of, of pastors and uh, people talking about some a lot of different topics and I don't know if uh, they are reliable or not but I have I have to to get some help because alone for me alone it's difficult for me I know that I have the, the Holy Spirit in, in me I know that I'm saved and I know that uh, God is always always guiding me for to the right path, and this that just happens happened now. It's an example of of this because I showed you the the images, and you you told me that it is completely wrong. Now you you can. You can help me understanding and teach me everything you you know. <laughs> well, yeah, I'd like to, and, and you know, I, it's for me the it, the path just wherever it takes me, that's where it takes me. I'm not uh, in control, <laughs> really. You know, I'm just wherever the spirit is taking me, that's where I'm going, and. So if you have uh, a topic you want to talk about, by all means, just let me know, and, and it would be my pleasure. Okay? Okay, Jimmy. Okay. So you'll go back, and you'll see this, hopefully, and you'll see 
again, uh, you know, we're talking about the split rock of Horeb, Oreb, or however you say that. And so you'll see here is Jebel al which is Mount Sinai, the real Mount Sinai. And then you'll see not far from Mount the real Mount Sinai is the split rock of Horeb. Uh -huh. And there's absolutely no doubt that is the rock. And you'll see it's not very far away. All right. Uh -huh. And it's clear across the waters from the fake Catholic Mount Sinai. Uh huh. Okay, these guys are just uh, very wrong, aren't they? I mean, I don't know how you get it that wrong unless you want to create doubt in people's mind whether God is real or not. Uh huh. Okay, so you'll see the waters here. This is the waters right over here the what do you call that the Nile is that the Nile River yes Nilo Nilo, in okay. is, is, uh, Nilo. very good and then you got the Gulf of Suez uh -huh. and I believe that uh, based on uh, the the uh, the archaeological stuff uh, with the pyramids and uh, the you know, to, to me, the, one of the most fascinating things along with the pyramids is the Pyramid of Djoser and where they stored, a ma the, where they had, I believe they stored a massive amount of grain all throughout this area. Uh -huh. And uh, Djoser being Joseph is, is evidence of that. And so I just believe that they, they said, hey, you know, they've been wanting to get out of this place. And they're in this area here. I just have to believe that they would have went above these waters into this area here, and then found themselves trapped with nowhere uh -huh. to go. And the only hope that they had was that God intervened and uh -huh. split the waters. And of course, this is symbolic, if you will, of our only chance is if God intervenes and leads us out of this wicked world just as Moses led his people out of the wickedness of Egypt. It's like a yeah. prelude to what's going to come when Jesus uh -huh. leads us out of this wicked world. He's the only way, but he has yes. provided a way for us. Yes, that's true. Okay, so to me it's all very interesting, and I'm glad that you you uh, brought that up and I'm thankful we had this opportunity to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for showing me. My pleasure.